had to do. On one island, I have heard about an incredible technique, so fantastic sounding, I can't believe it's true. I have to say, this is probably the strangest kind of fishing preparation I've had to do. James is one of only two surviving men on this group of islands who know how to do this. He has never before shown this to an outsider. This, this spider, he bite? Yes. He bites oh. this one? Quite a little. Right. This technique uses no hook. Instead, we're collecting a spider's web. This spider for you. Right. Very good. Full tight. OK. Ah. Finish. Ready. Ready, ready, ready for fishing now. Yeah. And there's no rod. Instead, we'll be using this elaborate handmade kite, stitched together from banana leaves. James may be willing to share his secrets, but I'm the apprentice here, so I'll be doing the paddling. Patuloy na maglaro araw-araw upang mawalekta ng mga Go Stars items at makakuha ng mga smartphones ng Libre. The movement of the kite causes the web to skip temptingly across the water. We are after needlefish. They hunt small fish near the surface and can jump out of the water at speeds of nearly 40 miles per hour. The theory is that the needlefish's teeth act as the hook, getting tangled in the fine sticky mesh of the spider's web. The kite is up in the air, but getting it up is just the, the beginning of it. What we've got to do once it is in the air, is get our position, speed, direction correct so that the lure just skims across the surface without swinging around in the air or being too deep below, dragging along. I feel privileged to witness a centuries-old technique that only a handful of men have mastered and sadness to see it come to the very end of its time. Is that a fish? Yeah, we're going to fish, we're going to fish. That's very strong, yeah? No, that, no not, not come off. Absolutely caught, that is. Looks like the wind has gone, actually, but... My goodness, when, when the conditions are right, when you get this working, it's just so ingenious, it's so amazing, very, very clever. And to be part of it, to actually catch a fish without a hook, without a rod, just a bit of spider's web and a kite, you know, I'm not sure, if you just told people about that, I'm not sure if they'd believe you. In the greatest monster quest of my career, I've travelled hundreds of miles through one of the world's last true wildernesses to discover a secret lake, home to a river monster. Its behaviour under the surface tells me it's likely to be one of my greatest adversaries. Fish on! Fish on! The Arapaima. It's not coming quietly. Dennis keeps an eye out for other dangers. An unstable canoe and a curious caiman could prove interesting. Out here, in this extreme isolation, I can't help but wonder if this beast is perhaps different from the Brazilian arapaima with which I'm familiar. 
but right now, all that links me to what could be the greatest catch of my life is a slender fishing line. big to try and haul it into the boat, so we're going to work it towards the water's edge. But if it tangles in any of these trees, the game is over, and there's the added excitement of the resident caiman, which has still got its eye on me. But this is it. This is why I'm here, if I can just get it in. Roman, as soon as I as soon as I grab this, can I give you the rod? Okay. I've caught the monster of the lost lake. What's up? My name is Jonathan. It's J Maxim on Instagram.